Once again, good evening and welcome, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our very special guests. It's such an honor to have you join us this evening as we launch a special Youth Leadership Foundation. Tonight is very special because I dare to say that you are a part of history. You're a part of the launch of a new, well, it's been going on for nine years and officially registered for five years. However, today you have the privilege alongside us to formally launch the special foundation. And so permit us to say, even as corny as it might sound, that because of that, you are the special people. Children are the leaders of tomorrow. They deserve a good life, one devoid of sorrow. So it aches to my marrow, passes through my heart like a fiery arrow. When I see nine-year-old Maro in the streets hawking Zoho. Every your child, every child has a right to dream. If we are non-challenged with today, if we ignore and throw away these gems we've been blessed with growing up feeling cast away as they struggle to get by every other day. We recognize that every child possesses innate potential and like little drops of water make a mighty ocean, we will gradually contribute towards creating opportunities for them to explore by putting in place the right structures that maximize potential and restore confidence to Africa's bright future. Everybody said in my life that I wasn't going to do, I wasn't the best student in my class, but I wanted to, I wanted to prove myself and I did it. And I did it for my work and I came home very good results and I was very proud of myself I was very happy because I could push on I could do it for myself I did it for the special foundation I want to say very big thank you to the special foundation I want to say thank you to the people the partners I want to say thank you for seeing children like us and picking us and saying that we're going to finish our education we're going to stand out for our country I want to say thank you so much Seriously, since the time my dad died, it has not been easy for I, my brother, and my sisters. My dad died when I was five years old. When my mom came across Special Foundation, they helped her in lifting so many burdens. Special Foundation did not only help in my financial support, they made me secure. They made me be who I am and who I will be in the future. One of the reasons also for why we do what we do is because we understand that even if we can make a change for ourselves, if we can provide the education for our kids that we, that we desire for them, they can't live in isolation. And so, except you make a change and contribute towards helping the next child, your child is not really secure in the world in which they live in. And the former president of Boston also spoke, spoke to that point, where he said that the future of this country is depending on the youth. And except we try to make a change and be a part of the change that we seek, um, all our interventions or our hope to an aspiration to create a world for our kids alone will be in futility. These people allowed for the smooth running and operation of the foundation. And the winners are... Without a doubt, the work that the Special Youth Leadership Foundation has done and will still do is very important. In investing in the future of Africa, the foundation has chosen to focus on the critical demographic group, the children. 